The Tenancy Sustainability Team provides support covering a range of different themes. We've got the Income Management Team who can provide advice and support on anything relating to the rent account and in particular if you've got rent arrears we can make sure that you've got the advice and support to help you get back on track. We know that having low mental health can affect people's ability to deal with day-to-day -day issues and even the smallest problem can seem so much worse. We have two mental health navigators in the team who can help people deal with issues of low mental health. They are helping our tenants right now deal with issues of depression, anxiety, social isolation and things such as hoarding. We have achieved some fantastic outcomes for our tenants. In the last year alone we received 1400 referrals We've had 1,100 people supported in the last year and 97% of those are still in their tenancy six months after their support has ended. We also were able to obtain £1.6 million worth of additional money for our tenants through benefits and grants. As we know, self-praise is no praise, so why not listen to some of the comments from people we have supported in the last year. I'm Michelle and I first came into contact with the mental health team from St Ledger Homes through uh, another lady that was supporting me uh, at St Ledger Homes, Gemma. At the time the mental health team was just starting up and she felt that I could benefit from speaking to someone um, through everything that I was going through. I had a lot of struggles uh, when she, before Gemma came to see me and um, I wouldn't, wouldn't even leave my house. I'd, I'd had a lot of loss in my life. It wasn't until after my nan passed, which I thought I'd dealt with, um, and it come to going back to work. Uh, I'd went well gone back to work, but I had time off in the October for my birthday, and it come to going back and I had a massive panic attack, which didn't realise what it was. Thought I was having a heart attack, thought I was dying. And that's when I found out I'd got anxiety um, and depression. Babs came to me um, and we worked through things. We had a little plan of how I felt at the beginning. We went, went through things about how I felt, just questions, you know, do I feel, how do you feel? And most of them were one. I just didn't want to do anything. Um, and I gradually got up, gone back to work, and she's put me in touch with people. Um, that I needed to speak to through with appointments and things um, and also just help being there for someone to talk to uh, and I didn't have to leave my house which is when you I think when you suffer with anxiety depression leaving your house is one of the worst things that you want to do because I struggle with the fact that I can't seem to do as much as what I used to do and I try and push myself a lot harder uh, because I could do it and now I can't do it uh, and they, it meant that Babs has helped me get through that stage where I don't have to push myself. I've got to think about myself rather than thinking about what I need to do. Think about if my body's going to let me and that's just like reconditioning my brain type thing to think, yeah, you don't have to do that now. There is another day. You don't have to do it all at once. So yeah, that's it, it's helped a lot. I don't think I would be where I am at the minute now. Um, gone back to work, I'm up to 15 hours now at work. Um, and I don't think I would have got back there as soon as what I had, had mental health team not being involved. I've learnt um, practical things and I've got coping mechanisms now as well. They're only tiny little things, like I just flip my fingers like that, one, two, three, four, five, count like that. And, that sort of a coping mechanism for me if I'm getting a bit stressed and if I do that, that sort of helps. The support I got, to be fair, from me starting with this, with um, and Gemma coming in, was probably about four months, five months, uh, to which I think is really quick because you don't always get that and the fact that it was the landlord, St Ledger Homes, that actually put in place someone to come out and help with my bills, my rent and then the mental health team. It just, it wowed me to be fair because I just think you don't normally think that things like that being put in place for people and it, it really helped, it's been amazing.
Ja. It's nice to know that there are people out there that will help. Uh, but you've just got to learn to not bury your head in the sand. Uh, if people do offer you help, take the help. St Ledger Homes, you think they're my landlord, they just want to take the money and do whatever. If they phone you up, don't ignore the call, they want to help.